If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. There will be times when you need to enter information into your company file that may not have a dedicated associated form. For example, this could happen if you must enter depreciation values for fixed asset accounts. You can create a journal entry to account for these types of transactions. To create a general journal entry in QuickBooks Online, click the plus new button in the navigation bar. Then click the journal entry link under the other heading to open the journal entry page. In the journal entry page, select the transaction date from the journal date calendar selector field. Then enter a reference number for the transaction into the Journal Number field to identify the transaction in any reports. Then click into the Account column in the first blank row and select the first account affected by the transaction. Traditionally, you enter debits first. However, as long as you perform double entry to ensure the total credit and total debit amounts balance, it really doesn't matter whether or not you enter the debits or credits first. After selecting the first account, enter its associated amount into either the debits or credits column as appropriate for the selected account. Then enter a description for the account line into the description field. Finally, if there is a vendor or customer associated with the transaction line, you can choose their name from the drop down in the name column. Repeat this process for all the other accounts affected by this transaction. Ensure you have listed the correct accounts affected, the correct amounts, and that the total amounts within the credits and debits columns balance one another. To save the journal entry and close the page, or open a new journal entry window when finished, click or select the desired save choice from the drop-down button in the toolbar in the lower right corner of the window. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.